it's all happened in a lapse of 10 or 15 minutes, probably, tops, you know. Um, it happened at a restaurant establishment, though, at a restaurant that is on the dock on the lagoon side of, of San Pedro. And um, just about 200 yards up ahead by near dock as well, there were four rotoplasts reservoirs that contain water, no? And unfortunately, one of those, um, the covers were off. And um, there was a stool next to it, um, evidence that um, and the people checking it, you no, know, they left the stool there and everything open to check the level, you no? Know? Yeah. And um, and it was a sad incident. It, I wouldn't say negligence or anything. We want to make that clear. It is just an unfortunate incident, an accident. And the the parents, after a long day's work, because they have a water company, and they were up busy working the Holy Thursday, which is the day before the Good Friday. You know, as usual, as is customary here in San Pedro, the Thursday is a busy day for us preparing for the weekend. And they have been making their deliveries of their water company. Um, all the deliveries they have a, a purifying plant, no? And the restaurant happens to be just of the street where they are. It's mm-hmm. about maybe uh, one block away, I would say, or maybe like five houses away, close by, walking distance from their home, no? And uh, my brother-in-law was there at the restaurant ordering food um, and sitting down and resting off after a long day's work. And um, then my um, my sister and, and, the, and Zaim, they went to, to eat some food no, over there, and then while they were sitting there, the place is pretty much safe. There's no traffic, no no vehicles running around, so it's safe for the kids to be running around close by. As it's customary, it's a family place, and the kids were playing out there, and the kids were coming up and running up to my um, to my son and my my brother-in-law, sorry, at the restaurant and just eating bites of food, no, and they run. You know how kids are; they run into the restaurant, they bite something, and they run again, and they're all playing. And in the last of moment, a couple of minutes or so, something happened, and they went and started looking for him. He was nowhere to be found. So they said everybody joined in, in the in the search. Um, I think my sister-in-law, she, my sister, ran to the house to check whether he had left back for home. Because he's six years on the street, there is safe for him to run back home. So she ran home to check if he had they went back home. And other people started searching along the docks. I think somebody went on a boat or a jet ski with a flashlight. And someone went in to check the the, the rotoplast tanker that was open, no? And I think the first time they checked, the person who did, they didn't see anything. And I think they did a second and a third time. On the third time, they realized that he was floating to the, on the side of the rotoplast, no? He was pulled out. I do understand there was a doctor there who happens to be a friend of the family as well. He's the one that found him. And he's the one that pulled him out and immediately started to administer CPR on him, no? Um, this was done as, as a couple of minutes while he got ready to go car to take him to the clinic. On the way, I understand they were administering him the, the CPR as well, no? Mm-hmm. And um, this happened around around 9.30, around 9.30 to 10, somewhere around there the time that occurred, no? And um, he was rushed to the, to the clinic. And when I was called, and I rushed to the clinic as well, but by the time I reached and everything, in a matter of minutes, the doctors came out and they called my, my sister and my brother-in-law and to give them the news. And that was that he was confirmed that we are lost him.